New IBF champion Errol the Truth Spence Jr. He says Keith Thurman can get it and he can get him up out of there. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you share the video, like the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want those notifications when the new content drops, hit that bell icon, the notification button. Now, Errol Spence Jr., man, he did what a lot of people thought he couldn't do. They said Kell Brook is equal in size, equal in power, more skilled, and he got him out of there in the 11th round. I thought it was a good fight. It was a meaningful fight. And for those reasons, I'm always for those types of fights. Now, I've been meaning to do this video. A lot going on. Errol Spence was on the, the, K, the Sway Show, Sway's Universe. Link is in the description in case you want to take a listen to it. And first of all, I'm glad that boxing is, is getting these platforms where we're seeing guys like Errol Spence Jr. who he's still coming up. He's not the biggest name yet. And they're doing these radio spots and stuff like that. That's big because the casual fan may not know who Errol Spence is yet, even though he won the IBF title. And these are great ways to build up your profile and build up your name. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I remember that kid with the accent, the, the Texas accent, right? Or I've seen him on YouTube where you see just the, even the thumbnail. The, and that's what these promoters don't realize is social media is, is getting bigger. I'm not even trying to toot my own horn, but when I go to a fight, a lot of times I get more love than people who've probably been writing articles or something for 15 years or 10 years or whatever the case is. You know what I mean? Social media is a big platform, so these, these young fighters definitely need to make appearances, be seen, post on social media, show when they're, you know what I mean? Danny Garcia, Broner, they do a good job of it, where they're out with Nicki Minaj or Meek Mill or somebody, Allen Iverson, they'll take a little cameo shot to show the world, like, you know what I mean? People know about us, we're friends with Fabulous, F-A-B-O, Hello U.S. Remember when Fab first came out? Clue! He kept spelling his name in every track. Fab got bars, though. Fabulous is definitely one of my favorites. He doesn't get near enough credit. He's definitely underrated. I mean, I know a lot of people like him, but I don't feel like he gets his just due. He dropped on the same day as Jay-Z, Blueprint, because I remember I caught both of those albums back in the day-day when albums were a thing. And they dropped on 9-11, and I was, like, so happy. That was, like, one of the best that I can remember music days where I caught two different albums and I could play them both straight through and not even get like skip a track or whatever and that's how you know when albums were good where you, you could just play it straight through without skipping it don't get much sicker than fab I strap up with the eagles and throw bullets just as quick as McNabb quicker than Zab quicker than the jet hey chicken and stab complain she can feel the, the ab it's a like it or not thing they like how to watch bling and you know what <laughs> what do you say and I got cars like Michael has got rings. Why spice up a chicken like she a hot wing? Ravitella to bounce like a... Anyway, Errol Spence, man. IBF champion. He was on the Sway Show. And he was talking about Keith Thurman, the fight with him. And he had some very good stuff. He says, I know I could beat Keith Thurman. I think physically he's not as strong as Kell Brook. I feel like Keith Thurman is small, 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, I feel like we have the same speed. I feel I'm in the better shape than him all around. I just feel I'm a better fighter than Keith Thurman. He does have power, but I have power too. I feel like everything is in my favor in that fight. I just feel like I'll beat him. Straight up. Straight up! And Sway was asking him, he said, I think Sean Porter was the toughest fight for, for Keith Thurman in his career. Which, uh, I actually might think the Diego Chavez one might have been his toughest. Porter was tough for sure, but it's between those two fights to me. But anyway, so I said he believes Porter was the toughest fight. And he asked Errol, what were your thoughts on it? And he says in the early round, Sean, Power, Sean Porter was winning the battle of the jabs. And Sean Porter was fighting good on the outside in the first four rounds. But then Sean regressed and went back 
to what he usually does, a kind of brawling style. I feel like that's what hindered him. But he showed that he could use his jab and the jab works. I think he exposed him a little bit, but Keith Thurman showed he could fight through adversity and has grit. He also was talking about the Danny Garcia fight. And he was saying that I seen that Thurman faded just like he did with Robert Guerrero. He faded in the later rounds. I guess he got tired and started running around in the ring. I feel like Danny could have picked up the pace, but he just didn't. So for the full interview, check that out. That's basically what I want to talk about, give my thoughts. I, I honestly, some people get mad. Some people, this is my opinion. I think Errol Spence would beat Keith Thurman. And I have seven reasons, lock loaded and ready to go. If I am right, then I am right. If I am wrong, then I am wrong. I personally think he would win. But much respects to both of them, and I hope the fight happens. But just to give you guys a preview of why is some of the observations that Errol Spence is, is saying, you got to look at it. Keith Thurman is a great fighter, terrific fighter, more belts at, at welterweight than anybody, right? But I have seen little subtle vulnerabilities that I think the Spence style might be all wrong for for him for one i've seen thurman he used to back straight up i seen him get clipped in the jesus soto caras and that was in the first round i think and soto caras got got him hurt you know what i'm saying he, he looked hurt even though people forget because it was overshadowed by a spectacular knockout and i think they're in san antonio but people forget that soto caras having long arms clipped him Errol Spence, I believe, has the same reach as Floyd Mayweather, which is pretty long for the division, 72 inches or whatever. So that is one thing I noticed. Backing straight up, then what Errol Spence is talking about is Keith Thurman in the later rounds. And you look at it in the Danny Garcia fight, he started he started off very aggressive, rounds one and two or whatnot, and then uh, he did fade. I don't know if it was intentional or to conserve his energy, but versus Danny Garcia, that's where Danny Garcia had his best rounds, right? Because Thurman wasn't doing what he was doing early. I've seen Thurman kind of derive from game plans. You know what I mean? Fought the wrong game plan at some point and had to make adjustments. Props to him for making adjustments and getting it done. Sean Porter fight, Diego Chavez, he had to make certain adjustments, but I, I don't know with his skill set, I don't know if he would have even had to make adjustments if he came out with the the right game plan against them guys early. I think I think he should have just boxed Sean Porter, but he made it more of a, a dog fight and he didn't have to do that. That suits Sean Porter. That's what Sean Porter does all day. And by the fight's end, some people were booing the decision and thinking Porter won. So he made that probably closer than he had to be if he would have just boxed more of a, a Floyd Mayweather approach. But he has power because he's, he's bigger than Floyd in terms of this is his his division he didn't start five divisions below right so just little stuff like that Thurman like I said he's a good fighter I take nothing away from him but I the body shots is another thing Errol Spence is nasty with that and the thing is I seen a good jab from Errol Spence in previous fights Carol Brook fight and Thurman is, is very explosive very athletic but Kel Brook to me is, is is pretty maybe not as explosive but he's still tricky. You know what I mean? If you look at how Errol Spence Jr. was being attacked in some of those early rounds, Kell Brook was like jumping in and lunging in and like throwing the uppercut. Like he was doing some like Prince Nassim, Roy Jones-esque things. And he comes from the Prince Nassim gym. So he, he's pretty crafty in there. And that takes adjustment. So Keith Thurman, he likes to come in with big shots. But it's to me, that's going to work a lot better versus Danny Garcia because he has slow feet. And Danny Garcia has to get your timing down. And then that's when he starts after he, he computes that. After the struggle, then that's where he can get your timing down. Same thing Danny Garcia, Amir Khan. Danny Garcia didn't just immediately start countering. He kept missing. He was missing. He was throwing the right, throwing the right, throwing the left. And he was missing wildly. And then he caught Amir Khan in the third round but it took him a minute but Errol Spence I think is a solid counter puncher things like that so that jumping in when a guy's athletic and fast too and a southpaw I don't see that being good for Keith Thurman you know what I mean against Danny Garcia because he's slower he was able to do that 
know what I mean? And he was able to get Danny Garcia's respect early, like, us, us, in round one, and that kind of set the tone of the fight. Garcia knew he had to be careful, probably tasted some of that true welterweight power, because Garcia, you gotta remember, he's, he's big enough for the division, but he didn't have many fights against the big names that went through. He fought Robert Guerrero after Thurman kind of beat him and after he almost got knocked out by Aaron Martinez with six knockouts. He he fought Pauli Malignaggi, who pretty much retired shortly after that, right? And is a commentator part-time. You know what I mean? So it's different. And he fought Samuel Vargas, a guy Errol Spence knocked out. So those, those are different. I just think stylistically, Thurman would have problems and issue with Spence Jr. But again... See, this is the difference between me and some of y'all. I don't have any allegiance to anything but the outcome. Like, you know what I'm saying? If Thurman wins, cool. If Spence wins, cool. I just want to see it. You know what I mean? And the one thing, the difference between me and some of y'all is I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. Like, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. In terms of I want to see the fight. Like, for example... I see some radical Pacquiao fans. They tell me up and down, Terrence Crawford will get his ass beat by Pacquiao. Maybe. But they're also making excuses for why the fight shouldn't happen. Oh, Terrence Crawford doesn't sell. Oh, he's too dark. Um, he, he doesn't want to come up. What? Why don't you want to see it? That would give Pacquiao far more credit than beating Jeffrey Horn. My name is Jeff. So why would you not want to see it? If it's, you said it's going to be easy, it's easy work. Why would you not want to see that? That doesn't even make sense. He, you know he'll get respect from the boxing world, take an undefeated fighter's record, you know what I mean, and blemish it. But you don't want to see it and you make excuses why. Me, I'm not like that. Like, this is a big fight for boxing. Keith Thurman, Errol Spence. And even though I'm picking Errol Spence, let's see it. You know what I mean? Put it up. Put up or shut up. Spence has called for the fight. Thurman responded. Let's see it. When he gets healed up, let's see it. You know what I mean? And then we'll see. We'll see whose prediction's right and who was wrong. That's that's all I'm talking about. That's I'm, I'm from the throwback era. Like, let's see it. Ain't nothing to talk about. Let's see it. I, I can give you thoughts all day. But it's boxing. Things happen. But I just think stylistically, Spence's style gives Thurman issue. I really do. And... I am not underrating Thurman. Like, th that's what I'm saying. This this whole economy, or not even society, I guess you could say is a better word, is so PC that if you say anything, people will say, oh, you're racist, man, or, oh, you're just hating. When did giving commentary, I guess because there's so many idiots that try to do this and they just say whatever, that if, if someone else says something, even though it's educated or or they back it up with why they believe it will happen, they just misconstrue it with hate. You know what I mean? Because everybody has an opinion on this damn internet. So I don't know, maybe it's something like that. But um, every if you say anything, oh, Thurman loses. Oh, you're hating. You hate Thurman. Like, why would I hate Thurman? I just interviewed him literally in April, right? Why would I hate him? Why would I even trouble him or bother him if I don't care about you don't see me interviewing Jim Lampley I have before but I don't really go out of my way to interview him you know what I mean because I don't whatever he's talking about I don't really care for the most part you know what I'm saying so that's that I don't watch the fight game unless somebody tells me hey you gotta check out they had a special guest or check out this clip right that's just me that's how I operate. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with Hayden Thurman or Hayden Spence or loving Spence and Spence's nipples and all this other stuff you guys want to talk about. I think it's a good fight. Spence, Thurman, Thurman, Spence. Let's get it going. Let's get it cracking. And I like Spence's confidence. That's the other thing. He's a champion now. There's nothing you can say before you can pass him off like, oh, Spence brings nothing to the table. Who is Spence? He, he fought Phil LaGreco, Chris Van Herdy. Who is he beat? You can't say that. He beat Kell Brook. And the other thing, I'm man, I'm giving y'all too much of the seven reasons, but I will say this too. Another thing that I think will be a problem for Keith Thurman is to me, I think he, for his size and stuff, I think sometimes he puts on too much weight in between fights. Like he looks comfortable and that's cool. There's no, like, you know what I mean? Like I, I know it must be hard. You, you have to kill yourself, cut weight or 
whatever you got your body gets older but you're still a professional athlete and when it's just like Mayweather there's guys who can be bigger or stronger than him or whatever but he can still beat them especially if they don't they aren't like living pure and, and healthy in their off season stuff like that you know what I mean so I, I personally have seen Keith Thurman and he looks real full in the face in his off season and stuff like like the body shots if someone has the right approach and slows him down via the jab via body shots then all that jumping around will be non-existent, especially if you start um, getting hit to them guts. And then all your, whatever you were doing in your off season, that's when that really shows up when you get hit in that bread basket. So that's just my thoughts. Wanted to give you guys this video, been meaning to make this. Let me know who wins in your opinion, Keith Thurman or Errol Smith Jr. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.